things that I love less, the things that uh, you should expect. So when or if you'll get one, to set your expectations right, not to have an um, expectation that might not suit your uh, current needs or uh, hopes. So uh, here are some of the uh, features of, uh, of the car. Uh, of course, uh, aesthetically, uh, you could have a very good chance just but by uh, looking at the uh, uh, presentation uh, uh, movies of uh, Dacia, but um, otherwise, uh, I'll show you some of the features that you might only notice once you got the car. Some of the features that I didn't notice when um, I saw the car in the showroom. So I'm going to start off with the uh, exterior. Obviously, the uh, exterior looks uh, quite nice. The car uh, is, of course, uh, in the same class as the uh, uh, Volkswagen uh, E-Up. I've done a presentation uh, uh, and a comparison between the, the, the two cars. They are approximately the same. Uh, the uh, Dacia Spring is a little bit longer, so the uh, the trunk is a little bit uh, bigger, or actually double in size, to that of the uh, uh, Volkswagen uh, E-Up. And in terms of uh, looks, I would say that the Dacia Spring looks better, at least from my point of view. Also, the bright height of the... Dacia is a lot bigger than that of the uh, uh, Volkswagen E-Up. In terms of uh, of the outside, I would say that the Dacia Spring sounds a little bit uh, more uh, like a tin can. So the um, the uh, chassis sounds uh, empty or emptier than the, uh, um, the Volkswagen E-Up. As I told you, the trunk on this one is a lot uh, bigger than uh, that of the uh, uh, Volkswagen E-Up. You can, I would say, easily fit in here two uh, fully grown men. Uh, of course, uh, crouched while in uh, the Volkswagen e -up because it's a lot narrower, you wouldn't fit uh, probably more than uh, a kid. Of course, I'm not saying that you should fit a kid or a man in the uh, in the trunk, but you could do that just for a size comparison. One thing uh, straight off that. Uh, um, that I am missing. As you can see, there are a couple of uh, minus uh, degrees, there are actually minus three degrees uh, today, and I had to uh, uh, scratch the uh, the windows, the eyes of the uh, windows. A thing that I would miss is the um, uh, heating in the uh, mirrors. Of course, uh, I've cleaned them uh, uh, with this uh, scraping tool. And it works uh, fine. Otherwise, in terms of size, I would say that uh, the Dutch Spring is uh, uh, very reasonable. I have two kids. Uh, one is four years old and the other one is one and a half. So they have different seats. And both seats uh, fit in uh, perfectly, uh, both behind me and uh, my wife. I am 1.8 meters tall. And my kid fits in uh, uh, perfectly. In terms of uh, range, so far I have made 350 kilometers with, uh, with the car. Uh, today the battery is at uh, 36%. I have absolutely no problems uh, going with the car uh, at, this, uh, uh, at this range. As you can see or probably hear, the uh, ventilation, I use it uh, today to be uh, pretty high on the second uh, um, second speed of the uh, fan. There's absolutely no issue with the Volkswagen E-Up. I was constantly uh, looking at the, uh, at the range. 
It was a Volkswagen E-Up 2019 with an 18 kilowatt uh, battery. So the range was a little bit shorter uh, by the battery. On this one, I would say currently, even though I've only charged it uh, twice, the uh, range is somewhere around 200 kilometers. Probably I could, uh, I could do a, a better timing, but a uh, better range. But um, I don't, uh, don't really manage the uh, or uh, save uh, batteries, especially because it's uh, very cold. It was raining the other day, so I had to. Um, to work with the uh, AC on and with the uh, ventilation on because the uh, um, the windows were getting uh, uh, misty or foggy so I had to run the uh, air conditioning on the second uh, degree on the second uh, uh, speed uh, first off I love the power steering it's I think electronically uh, assisted and it works uh, very easily that's one uh, uh, big plus especially at low speeds it's very uh, easy at high speeds of course it doesn't need to uh, work that easy it's even a safety feature that it makes it a little bit harder to steer at uh, high speed a thing that I wouldn't uh, that I don't really appreciate is the uh, window uh, control uh, buttons for the front which are on the uh, central console on the dashboard and the thing that the uh, that I don't uh, love at all is the fact that the uh, windows don't have the comfort uh, module or how they call it where you press the uh, button one and the uh, window uh, lowers you have to keep on your finger to uh, take the window down and or brace it up you cannot push it one and then the uh, once and then then the uh, window raises so this i would feel like uh, uh, big minus the second biggest minus of course the, these are uh, small things but uh, they kind of bother me is the fact that uh, the um, volume buttons uh, of the uh, navigation or radio are uh, placed on the central console while on the steering wheel you have some stupid controls this is the uh, uh, maximum speed uh, setting it's not an automatic pilot or tempomat it's actually a button from where you set the uh, your maximum speed you see it raises 40 44 46 so you can set the maximum of speed with what with which you can uh, travel uh, and especially uh, in the city so that would limit your speed and gain some uh, extra kilometers this one i didn't have the uh, curiosity of finding out what what it is this one is uh, i would say or i would guess it's uh, voice commands but i have another car it's in uh, your Audi and I never used it on that one because uh, uh, it doesn't work good it's just stupid it doesn't identify the proper command so on the Dacia I would say it would work uh, even worse so I didn't uh, even bother trying that one and I will probably never do it could there are a lot of fake buttons over here they could have placed a volume button that would have been absolutely great here you have the uh, mirror control buttons. Uh, with this button you can um, block the control of the uh, rear uh, windows. This is the parking sensors off button. This is the uh, maximum speed uh, setting uh, button. So you can switch that off if you don't want to have this limitation. This is the communications uh, button, so you, uh, if you press this one, then um, you could, uh, or the car communicates with the uh, Renault servers, you have a, an app on your phone and you can start uh, your heating and control the car from, uh, from your phone when it does work. It works through uh, cellular data, so Renault or Dacia would have uh, a contract with one one of the uh, cellular data, uh, data suppliers and uh, the car would actually communicate through uh, uh, GSM 4G or I don't know with the uh, Renault server and then from there uh, with your phone so that's how it works 
the uh, speed control button is on the uh, between the seats um, of course most of the um, control well, or the uh, gear selectors are uh, between the seats at least in europe they could have placed it somewhere uh, somewhere else on the central console uh, but uh, it, it is uh, what it is it's over here so oh uh, by the way with the uh, volume buttons i would have had it enough it's if i would have had a, a, a gear uh, round uh, volume selector like this over here like on most of the car instead of this plus minus uh, uh, buttons that would have worked uh, as well oh you have a usb port as well an auxiliary port uh, you can also connect uh, your phone uh, to the uh, 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 media uh, navigation uh, via uh, bluetooth so uh, you can listen uh, to your music from uh, from uh, spotify or uh, youtube that's uh, a plus a thing that amazes me and I would not expect that to have that is the rear uh, rear camera so you can uh, and it works uh, pretty fine the uh, uh, view angle uh, is very big on uh, on the car so the camera is placed <coughs> here and as I told you, the uh, view angle is uh, very big. I can definitely uh, work only with the camera without having uh, to look uh, into the mirrors. So once you have it, instead of uh, uh, cleaning your mirrors, you can use the, uh, the rear viewing camera when you're backing off. But of course, then in the traffic, you would know to have the, you would need to have the uh, uh, mirrors cleaned. And another very important feature. On the day chair that uh, I especially love and my wife uh, loves is the uh, radar, which is placed uh, right under the uh, uh, the uh, number plates. This would stop the car in case of a, an imminent accident and uh, especially at the uh, traffic lights because uh, these days we are p paying attention um, uh, at stuff that we shouldn't probably do. So this car has this uh, feature and of course because of the ergonomics of the uh, central console I would say that uh, this uh, would have been or is uh, uh, a must. One other thing that uh, some uh, have noticed and uh, somebody told me that uh, I have uh, the same thing is with the wheels they don't have a centering ring on which uh, the wheel uh, goes. So it's uh, this part here is flush and the uh, wheel only sits on the on the bolts. This isn't much of a safety good practice, but then we have it. Probably uh, they know things better than uh, we do. But I would have placed uh, all the all the other cars that I have or had had the, this uh, centering ring. This one uh, doesn't, or not all. Some of the uh, springs, uh, Bachat springs, have it. Others don't. I don't have it, apparently. Um, when you order the car, it comes with uh, the standard cable and the standard uh, charging port. You have to order separately the DC uh, uh, charging uh, adapter for uh, for the car so you should keep that uh, in mind the dacia says that uh, the range is up to 305 kilometers uh, in the city that's probably been uh, extremely p favorable p conditions in the summertime when the weather is fine as they say it um, the range could go up to 305 kilometers but i would say in the summertime when the weather is fine probably uh, it could go up to uh, 250 kilometers but uh, roughly that's uh, all the things that uh, i could say overall i'm uh, very satisfied with uh, uh, what dacia gives uh, or gave me uh, for the money that i paid for of course the uh, benefits from the uh, states are pretty much and covered more than half of uh, the price of the car 
and that is uh, that is one of the reason that uh, I buy uh, an electric one range wise it's very p good I would say so would I buy it again yes no problems I would buy it again I will get back with a movie on the uh, uh, range of the carp uh, in a matter of uh, one or two weeks when I have some more kilometers done with it until then I'll see you I guess take care